Please, you must try this at school. Who are the green shirts? Chris, Valerie, Scott. This is Tech Bus. Osceola teachers, we have breaking news to report today. That's right, breaking news. It's about ClassLink. That program that you know and love for your passwords and your programs has a breakthrough that's about to happen. It's been years in the making, but this is going to happen. We have a discovery where, that's gonna let you change your icons and move them around. I know, right? So let's go to the field reporter that we have. Chris is standing by. Chris, can you hear me? Yes, Scott. Yeah, yeah, we read you loud and clear. All right, can you tell us more about this breakthrough? Yes, we can take you through it. We are here today in the MITD department to learn more about this discovery. In fact, we're about to meet with Dave. He's the programmer who's not only made this discovery, but who oversees ClassLink. So this is the man himself. Dave, can you take us through this miraculous event? Sure. I've been working on this for the past two years. I found a way that you could change your icon really? just yeah. like you Dave, have to change Dave, your icon in the no, cell phone. No, no, no. You've had that button right there the whole time. You mean this button? Yes. <laughs> really? Huh. Didn't know that. But, um... Scott? Okay, in other news, we've got things to report. <laughs> Welcome back to TechBusters. I'm Chris. Scott. And Val. Here at TechBusters, we like to get to the bottom of using technology in the classroom. That's right, and as you've seen today, ClassLink has an ability for you to rearrange those icons and make them into groups that are usable for you. Yep, all you have to do is click on that little pencil icon next to the search bar and you're able to make new folders and drag and drop your icons just like you can on your phone. So that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for more episodes. <laughs>